we are coming in the past from a hardware-centric business model. Uh, we produced uh, brakes, uh, electronics, uh, and other stuff, sensors. Um, we are adding services now to our products to enhance their functionality. This is a responsibility of the existing organization of the business units, uh, and, uh, and that will help to, to um, continue to grow profitably. This is our existing business model. Now, if we are starting to sell software as a service without any link to our hardware portfolio, then this is something completely new. So uh, we need new processes. Uh, we need uh, a more creative environment, more freedom to act in this uh, new business unit. And therefore, we decided to place it into the Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. Now, what we are doing in China now uh, has to do a lot with uh, mobility services, this new business model. And therefore, it's only natural that uh, the business unit ITS in the Silicon Valley has employees in China already, and they are working in a uh, connected world already. So what we are doing here in China is very well coordinated with what we are doing in the Silicon Valley and in Europe. Mm -hmm. In the past, we worked in a very sheltered environment, uh, the car manufacturers and the suppliers. For sure, it was a two-way street without win-win situations, you cannot be uh, successful in the future. Uh, the business scenario is just now getting much more complex because we are expanding into the IT, into the communications industry, into the electronics industry. The consumer electronics industry obviously has an interest to uh, come to the automotive side. And uh, that means that we have to be much more flexible with regards to the way we are working together with third parties. That's true for our customers, but especially true for a system supplier like Continental. And uh, our customers are forming uh, corporations. We are doing so also with China Unicom, with IBM, with other guys like Cisco in the uh, US. So um, if it comes down to the competence of speech recognition, which we urgently need, in vehicles in the future. Um, again, we could try to develop an own system uh, in-house, but it would take too long. Uh, it would uh, absorb a lot of uh, investments. So it's only natural that also we are collaborating with IBM, for example, in the area of uh, speech recognition systems. Mm -hmm.